Hello everyone and welcome into a brand new Deity Every Leader Challenge series as Eleanor of Aquitaine, the English version, not the French one. Now, if you are new here, you you don't know, but you, you will know right now, the number one rule of the clan is that we hate Eleanor, but that only applies to playing against Eleanor. We actually love playing as Eleanor. We are going to try and do a mix of all of Eleanor's cool theater squarey loyalty flipping stuff with Void Singers and use the Royal Navy Dockyards for a bit of naval domination. So how we're gonna win this game, who knows? But we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna try and do naval domination. We are playing on island plates for the first time in my life, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But we're gonna settle right here. We're gonna work the diamonds, which will be perfect for us. Is this actually a plains hill? That's a grassland, cool. What are you? You're a plains hill. So we're definitely settling here. 2-2 two -two start, work the diamonds. That should be perfect. You can even work this until you grow one and then work the diamonds. Either way, it's a fine start. So we'll just go right here and save the turn. So we boosted sailing for settling on the coast. And as always, we are gonna start exploring. Now they have changed the city-state first meets pretty recently and they're not nearly as good anymore, but you still wanna get exploring quite early. I really wanna get the boats out. I want to get to the Royal Navy Dockyards as soon as possible, but I also don't want to get murdered by people. So I'm going to go Animal Husbandry into Archery, unless I find out for sure that no one else is around. And we'll start with the Scout like we always do. Ooh, all right. Lots of mountains. I like mountains. Mountains make it easy to have decent campuses. I think also if there's a Barb Camp here that we can kill... Um, and get a governor title. I'm actually a pretty big fan in this patch of not getting a settler quite as early, but waiting till you can get two governor titles pretty easily in secret societies mode. Yeah, let's just close in. I don't think anyone's going to come from up there, so that's perfect. Let's see if we can boost archery with a slinger. All right, he's probably just going to suicide into one of us. Just kidding, he is not. That's fine. We need to find that um, encampment though. Probably up this way. I wonder if anyone lives over here. Nope. Man, that's so close to being a good campus. If those were just one up, that's really unfortunate. If there are no dogs in heaven. Oh, there's so many good 2-2 tiles. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, there we are. Found it. Um, we're going to fortify here. If he attacks us, we can get a promotion, but we want to wait till we have um, discipline. Let's work the... Oh, we're already working this tile. Yeah, you want to work this tile to get your Pantheon nice and early. The one faith from the dies makes that nice and easy. I don't think we're gonna boost archery, but we might still yet. I'm gonna go sailing because I haven't seen anyone in the immediate vicinity that's too concerning. And I think we just bring this slinger up and make sure we get the kill with it. Yeah, I'll go for that settler. Perfect. Yeah, I want to get promoted, so I kind of hope they just attack me. Yeah, they're not going to, that's fine. Perfect, here we go. This is brilliant. Uh, we'll do faith in gold just to get that pantheon as soon as possible. Sweet. You chill here, you chill here, and then as soon as they come up, we can just bop them with both of these units. Foreign trade, there's no one to trade to yet. So here's a, here's a thing I always get bamboozled on, if you will. Every time I don't see anyone, I'm tempted to just go straight for craftsmanship, but I never need craftsmanship that bad. And every time I don't go into foreign trade, I just end up regretting it because I wish I had. So I'm going to go into foreign trade, even though there's a good chance it's not a good idea. Yeah, come on. Perfect. It was a good idea. We can trade with Bologna. And we get that extra science. I typically prefer the extra culture early. The one extra science isn't always the best. Oh, here we go. Please die. 
Eesh, you're not gonna die. That's fine. We'll wait. Now, I hope he's attacking barbarians and not another person. Perfect. So we are gonna boost at archery. Well, that went exactly as I hoped it would. Man, another really great city down here. It is not that life. Ooh, we're pretty boxed in though, and only we only have dyes so far. We're not gonna get this tea. Huh. The last leader. It's random, dude. I didn't pick Eleanor. Eleanor picked me. Oh, Tilegasm? <laughs> I didn't know what emote that was. Um, we boosted archery, so I kind of want to go into it, but with no one else around, let's just go straight for our Royal Navy Dockyards. Ain't no reason to muck about. I'm a little bit concerned with only the dies. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But it's not super ideal either. Yeah, there's not a lot of room here, so you just need to go as close as possible. I don't think settling on the dies is a good idea. But I think that idea is correct, is just go as close as possible. Yeah, you could settle with T in your third ring. If you settle down here, the T, you could buy it. I don't know if I'll have that gold. Although I am working the diamond. Oh, I'm not working the diamonds anymore. Huh. I mean, so this is a good dockyard. I'm just going to start pinning things that might be good. That's a good dockyard. And so you always want, so you probably want to settle right here. I mean, that's not a great city, but it is what it is. We're not going to have a lot of great cities. I think this is probably the correct settle up here as well. Instead of here. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. This is the best use of space, I guess, so the tiles don't overlap too much. If we're going to come down here, you either want to go here or here to put your city adjacent to where the Royal Navy Dockyard could go. I think, again, this is the best use of space, though, for the least overlapping tiles. And I don't actually get to fit in any more cities. One, two, three. Then you probably just settle down here again. I mean, we don't get to buy into the tea that way, but hopefully there's tea down here. Yeah, I think this city goes first. Yeah, we'll come down and settle this one. It's not super ideal, but we'll be fine. I'll build a galley real quick so we can take a look around. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think any of that was super ideal, but it is what it is. Perfect! We have discovered vampires far earlier in this game than we did last game. We would like Magnus, please. This is what I mean. You can get double Magnus pretty quickly. We do need to find goody huts in order to get Void Singers, though. Ooh! There are some pearls. That's helpful. Far, far earlier. It's way earlier. Yeah, we can conquer Bologna too. I never like taking city states. I almost feel like, uh, I almost feel like dirty. Like I'm not playing the game properly. But yeah, I think we just kill Bologna, actually. Now that you suggest it, I can't believe I didn't think of it type of thing. Ooh, please, please, please give us Void Singers right away this game. Nope, just water, kidding. Water everywhere. Ooh, but Lake Repa though. 
Uh, I do not want the Hermetic Order. But so this is what I'm talking about though. You can get double Magnus super quick. And now anytime we get a Settler, it doesn't take a population away. It's just wild. I would like the early Settler, but it's gone. I would take Earth Goddess, but the problem with Earth Goddess, there's two problems. The first is that you can't buy boats with Faith, so that's lame. The second problem is we're going to be building a lot of... Whatchamacallits? Industrial Zones. Which we don't normally build. I normally hate Industrial Zones, but we're going to build some this game because Eleanor's good at that. And I'm pretty committed to being like doing what the Civs are good at, even if it's not ideal. Because why, why play the Civs if you're not going to do what they're good at? Well... My first two picks are kind of off the table. Yeah, that's all you want in a deity game. Because you'll always be able to outsmart the AI if you can get going. Right? So getting like one, two, three, four, five cities down before the AI can mess with you is absolutely brilliant. Let's go God of the Sea. We never get to do that. Plus one production from fishing boats. We're going to have lots of fishing boats. At least one, two. I mean, maybe I should have settled on the stone actually for this harbor, but that's fine. Um, send envoy. I guess we can sue Bologna for now. I'll take the arrow score. We're definitely going to kill Bologna, though. I am pretty committed to that now that you've mentioned it. Liverpool, the place where no one understands what anyone is saying, unless you're also from Liverpool. The Scousers are hard to understand when they speak. And it's nothing against them. I, as a Canadian man, found it difficult. You will never... <laughs> get out of here, Powell. I don't want to hear anything about their football team. <laughs> Where's Manchester? Where's Manchester at? Yeah, I guess we just go for a galley. Let's get the navy going. We don't have time to mess around. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of Liverpoolers who can't understand each other. I wouldn't be surprised, man. The Scouse accent is a tough, tough one. I don't believe in astrology. Oh, I was like, wait, we went into astrology? It's because we need to go in there for harbors. That makes sense. I was like, I never go into astrology. What possible reason would I have had to do that? Lake Repa is going to be sick. All right. Oh, so you can settle kind of any city down here. Let's maximize our space. One, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. Nope, that's the wrong pin. One, two. I guess you can go here and then down here. Double Lake Repa. Yeah. Yeah, I think two cities can each take a like right by tile. One, two, three. I think you just go right over here then. Or one, two, three. Nah, I don't think going down is gonna help us. I think having harbors on this side will be more helpful though. One, two, I can't go there. Or there, oh boy. It'll have to be on the T. I don't really want to go on the T. I'd rather go on the stone. Actually, you know what? T's a garbage tile. Yeah, you know what? We're going on the T. T sucks. T is like, um, I can't remember what it is now. But T is bad. T settle for canal as well. Yeah, the T settle is just better than the... I talked myself out of the uh, stone settle real fast. It did not take a big effort. Yep, we got our own little island. Awesome! I mean, not a lot of room for good districts and stuff, but hey, we'll take it. Definitely grab another settler. Yeah, we need this galley real fast, though. I apologize, Bologna, but we're definitely going to murder you. That's the positive aspect of Foreign trade, trade gets boosted. The world gets stirred up. I do not need this in there anymore. We're going to go for naval units. And definitely gold from trade routes. I should go production in all cities for now. And then I'll buy the trade route from London to Bologna. Cool. 
early empire, obviously for settler production. Ironically kind of shaped like England and Scotland. Yeah, England's on the wrong side of it though. I think you go like London down here and Edinburgh up here, but, or Glasgow here and then Edinburgh. I don't know which order it goes into. Which is embarrassing, I have been to Scotland. I was right the third time, that's good. Third time's the charm though. Uh, yeah, I can't go anywhere with this scout. I'll probably want her to come off this side of the island when I can send them some places though. I was right the third time, I love that. Ireland on the left, yeah, Ireland's over here. I did know that much. What the hell just happened? Mahenjo, man, Mahenjo's real good. Mohenjo is real good. Not as good on this kind of land mass, but it's still better than nothing. If we can seize Mohenjo, we'll get a lot of housing in all of our cities. I circumnavigated, that would be so funny. Imagine. Imagine the turn 34 circumnavigation on deity. I'm just double checking that it's deity because I cry every time I think about that game we played. Who Shaka! You're in the game and you can't murder me straight away? Hello! Oh, Elundi? No worries. Right on the coast that I can murder it? Absolutely perfect. It's so nice when Shaka's in the game and he can't just straight up kill you. It is... It is so nice. You settle anywhere you like, Shaka. Right there, too. That's fine. I'm gonna settle up here, though, if that's cool. So we got shipbuilding, owning two galleys. Improved two sea resources is doable. Just double crabs. Don't you need this to harvest the crab though? Yeah. Wait, no you don't. Never mind. Buy a builder. How much gold are we away? Two turns. All right, so we're gonna get these double crabs here and boost celestial navigation. I suppose builder's really the only thing left. We don't have mining or irrigation though. Ooh, more land to settle. That's so exciting. That's so exciting to just be able to come right up here. We're gonna be able to squeeze in quite a few cities in such a small area, which is fantastic. Yeah, go for a monument for a little extra culture. We're running behind on culture. Not that we're ever gonna have a high culture in a game without a lot of land. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna stay there until... Yeah, he's already going with the military. Dad, Vega? She's going to go for a religious game, so that's great because she's not going to kill us. I'm kind of trying to avoid Harold, maybe. Like, Harold and Dido are pretty scary. Otherwise, I feel pretty good. Yeah, a few people were saying that. It kind of looks like actual Britain, which is exciting. Oh, no, we're not settling here because Jed Vega is going to ruin our life. And Rome. Hello, Rome. Cool, settle on the coast. Oh, I need cities on the coast to kill. That's perfect. Yeah, I need to be able to kill cities on the coast. Uh, everything's hey! under control, it's normal. Durathane subscribed for two months with Prime. Thank you for taking $5 out of Jeff Bezos's pocket. Just taking it and putting it right into the clan. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for that. Welcome into the clan. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the sub badge. Enjoy the subsection of the Discord. Man, that feels good. I feel good. Thank you so much for that, Durathane. 14 Diplo favor, 4 gold per turn. That's a really good deal. The problem is I think I might be able to get a better deal if I wait till 30 or 40. I'll take that now, though. There's a lot I want to buy to get ahead. We're doing good. I want to buy some stuff to get ahead here. Builder being the first one. Yeah, this galley's not going anywhere cool. 
Take that, Bezos. There is. Ooh. Water. Circumnavigate? Is that deep water? Oh, it's deep water. That's so lame. That would have been the absolute best. All right, well. You're going to have to wait till you can go in the deep water, it looks like. Yeah, I can't go on water yet. Where's the next best settle for us? That's a really good Royal Navy dockyard, and that's pretty important. It's a really good little city for us, though. I think this is the better city, and that's the better dockyard. If Bezos pays my salary, am I taking money directly out of his pocket? Yes. You are. Although I don't think it... So the problem is that it's like an authorized pickpocket, right? Like, he has to spend a certain amount of his money to employ people to work to keep making him money. But any time that you use your Twitch Prime sub, I mean, it depends on who you're using it on, because, like, partners have different deals for how much of the Prime sub money they get. But any time you use it here, you're taking at least $2.50 out of Jeff Bezos' pocket that he would have had had you not subscribed. Whether he cares or not, I don't know. If you're ever feeling down, remember that you're closer to being a millionaire than Jeff Bezos is. <laughs> yep. That's, I feel better instantly. Uh, we're going to settle down here. If this guy will stop blocking the way. All right, so this is going to boost, which is perfect. There's a little bit of a gap left, which is awesome. We'll go for the monument. Tree fitty. That's a cool amount of money, 350. I wonder, I always wonder who has the best partner deal on Twitch. Must be Shroud at this point. Like who's out there keeping, keeping all $5? That's probably no one. That's probably no one. But I bet you there are some partners that have some pretty sick deals. I guess maybe they keep none of the sub money. Like, I don't know how it works when you're partnered and Twitch just like pays you $2 million to stream. Like, do they just... Do they just pay you regardless of your subs? And then the subs are just subbing for whatever? I don't know how it works. Yeah, this island is sick. It's a choke point. There's a few good um, places to, to settle. There's a, a wonder right in here. We're going to get a few good dockyards. This start is great. Go shipbuilding for all the obvious reasons. Also, allowing all land units to embark. We'll embark, we'll get my settler over here, which is what I need. We have more barbs to kill. Where's that? Way down here. All right. We are on a mission. I think Bologna, Bologna. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I kind of want the Lake Repa settle first, actually. Yeah, we're going to settle Lake Repa first. All right, perfect. What's the last? Do we have another work boat we can work? Yeah, these fish. I really, really, really hope... That's a terrible deal, Trajan. Sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, it's also bad, Shaka. Classical era. Didn't get the Golden Age. I don't like this first Golden Age, though, because you hardly ever need it. And um, the second Golden Age is much better. Shaka on Deity managed to Dark Age, which is impressive. It's hard to do if you're a Deity AI to get a Dark Age. So Shaka's impressive. In, in the wrong direction, but it's still an impressive effort. Free Inquiry is usually the most reliable way to get Aero Score. Not always, but usually. I might just have to settle here because of all these units, if I'm being honest. Like, how long is it going to take me to get all the way down to Lake Repa? Probably forever. It was luxury's like. Sheffield, home of the blades. Who is that? Billy Sharp? Isn't he the striker? Isn't he like the club legend in Sheffield? Four turn dockyard. Sign me up. Sign me up. Put that bad boy right here. Then any district we put here, you put a commercial hub here for plus three. 
So, oh, you don't want to put a commercial up and a harbor in the same city, though. Well, that can just be a theater square, then. It's not near anyone for a loyalty flip, though. I won't worry about districting this for a little bit. Because we're going to build, as soon as this dockyard's done, we're going to build more settlers. Definitely don't need mysticism. Although I do want drama and poetry fairly shortly. We're just going to go straight into our government. How many warriors does Bologna need? Too many, considering I'm going to kill it with boats. It's going to need a lot more. Liang is quite fun with the fisheries thing, but otherwise Liang's pretty garb. Not great. I think you just go Pingala here, because I'm already kind of short. Science and culture. And it's harder on a smaller map. With less land to, to catch up with science and culture. So uh, Pingala makes a lot of sense here. Liverpool will be fine. Alright, now in Liverpool, a seven turn dockyard, plus four, oh my goodness. Here we go, baby. We are getting all the gold. We are going to be the richest people in this game. And yeah, they built a builder this time. My bigger concern is there's nowhere for these, uh, these guys to go. So they're just going to be here the entire time. You have left the richest parts of your land for enemies to claim. What? Mate, I'm still settling, dude. You have to give me a minute. I'm going to go for the pearls instead of the fish for the luxury resource. I think that's a bit preemptive. I think you're assuming a lot there. Oh my god. <laughs> Zulu City flipping already? Oh, perfect. Awesome. That's what I like to see. That's really funny. Um, okay, so you could settle a city here and get one, two, three, four, five production and a really good harbor. No food. Ah, oh, you get a little bit of food. That's really funny, though. Five, five production is all you need. Exactly. No one's ever needed more than five production in this city. That's what I heard. Um, I do want lighthouses, but I also need settlers really bad. Very bad. Ooh! It's a good campus, too. Where's the volcano to go with this? This fissure here. Are we good for deep water now? Wait, what? How are you in the deep water? Yeah, that's not till cartography, my guy. Yo, are you hacking? Okay, well. I, I may have missed something. I'm unsure about how that's happening. I'm also an idiot, so... Who knows? I need to get over to the barbs. Come on, Bologna. Also, I want to point out that when we played Matthias and we wanted to levy units, that Matthias spawned three units for us to levy, or the, the city-states, all of them combined, we levied like three or four units. This is already more units in turn 54. I am still sad about this fact. I did not run into Bermuda Triangle. Although if I can navigate the ocean, I shall do that. Yeah, there's no bonuses or anything. I have no idea. Yeah, it won't let me now. I'm so confused. It's an ocean tile. Is it because it's on the coast? Yeah, maybe it's because it's on the coast. I don't know how this works. I'm just along for the ride, baby. I know nothing. I'm like Jon Snow. Cartography is now boosted. Perfect. Ooh, desert. Do we need the desert for any reason? Still 63 turns. Our science needs to go up. 
Yeah, you can probably build a lighthouse, although I do need settlers. Let's grab you a builder. Then we'll get a lot of production off these sea tiles here. Go for the settler. So we already went to Bologna, and that worked out well. Let's go to Alundi for now. The 12 gold is too good to give up. And we're not fighting anyone for a bit. I think that's going to do it for this episode on YouTube, though. If you're watching on Twitch, 6.9 science. No need to improve. It's already perfect. That's one way of looking at it. That is true. We could just stick with that for the rest of the game and see how we do. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We are off to a great start here as... Um, Eleanor, so we should have a pretty fun game. Win or lose, we're going to do some naval domination, which will be exciting. If you enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe with those buttons wherever they are, depending on which device you are watching on. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and in the description there are links to Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.